Hey, what's going on you beautiful people? My name's Tadai. I hope you guys had a pretty awesome day today. My day's been pretty awesome so far. Anyways, in this video, what I would like to do is address a question that a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments down below, and that is why I've switched from Cinema 4D to Maya when it comes to making my 3D assets or speed arts. Now, for those of you who don't know, about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, I started posting a ton more graphics videos on this channel, most of which were relating around Cinema 4D, whether it was making sort of like a low poly speed art or a tutorial, a lot of the stuff was just pretty much either Photoshop or Cinema 4D. Now in the past couple of months what I've been doing is using a lot more of Maya which is another 3D application and a lot of people have been asking you know why have I switched to Maya? Is it better? Is it worse? Is there a reason you switch? Some people are very angry that I left Cinema 4D. Some people are very happy that I switched to Maya. Now before I go any further I just need to state that I didn't leave Cinema 4D. I still use Cinema 4D a lot. It's just that when it comes to the stuff I want to post on this channel it's not as relevant. And another thing is neither one of these programs are necessarily better than the other, they're just more applicable to different situations. Now what I mean for that is that if you look at a lot of the videos I used Cinema 4D for, most of them were either speed arts like I said or a tutorial or something to do with low poly but everything was sort of a scene, it was a graphics where I pretty much used it to edit something in Photoshop or just make a scene of low poly, they were all still images and if you look at the stuff I use Maya for, that is more or less the actual 3D assets that you use in a game or a movie or anything like that. Now that being said, that doesn't mean that one program can do the other. Both of them are very capable of making, you know, actual graphics or scenes or anything like that or a still image, while they're both very capable of making 3D models and assets as well. The thing is, Cinema 4D is a lot easier to sort of just light a scene with and make a quick render, while uh, if you look at something like Maya, it isn't as easy to do so. You might need an external render, but at the same time, if you look at Maya, I feel like the modeling toolkit just makes it a lot easier to model than something like Cinema 4D. They both have their perks. They both have their things that you really sort of need to have an easier time an easier workflow when you're creating a certain type of creation. Now for those of you who don't know, I have mentioned this a few times on my channel, I actually want to get into game development and do a bunch of stuff on the art side of video games as my career. And because of so, I need to learn how to make 3D assets and 3D game creations within, you know, programs. And whatever works the best is obviously going to be easier for me. And also, when I went to my college to go check out the students and see what they had to say, they said, trash everything that isn't Maya. Maya is where it is at when it comes to animation, when it comes to creating 3D characters, 3D game assets, anything like that. If you want to make games, you need to learn Maya. And after doing a ton of research, that was right. That is the industry standard. Maya is what people in the industry use to create video game assets. So that doesn't mean it's better. It doesn't mean it's worse. It means that that's what people use for this specific type of work field. Now, if you look at Cinema 4D, however, that is used a ton in advertisements, a ton in movies, and a ton in actual sort of motion graphics and still image graphics. That's where that is primarily used. And that's not exactly what I want to be doing with my time and what I want to put into my portfolio. Because of so, I've sort of moved to Maya a bit more, but like I said, I'm not abandoning Cinema 4D by any means. I'm still going to do a ton of low poly speed art in the future eventually, and when I do those, I will be using Cinema 4D instead of Maya. Now another reason that I switched to Maya, and it's a reason I think a lot of people should do this as well, or at least give it a shot, is because Cinema 4D is very hard to access. The trial for it is extremely limited, it is an extremely expensive program, but then if you look at something like Maya, it is super accessible, and what that means is pretty much anyone can download a 3 year free trial and then once that's over they can just renew it. They can get the program for free without pirating anything or doing anything like that and because of so I found that there was a lot more tutorials and a lot more links to learn stuff for Maya than there was for Cinema 4D and I feel like since it's the industry standard and more people have a handle of it, it is a lot easier to learn that program and apply it effectively than it was for me to learn Cinema 4D. Now keeping in mind everything that I said, these programs are equal. They are the same. They are both very good just in different areas. No program is better than the other but one is sort of used in a different way than the other one. But at the same time, you can pretty much do everything in one program than you can in the other. It's just different workflows. So when it comes down to it, it really is just preference, but it probably would be smarter to realize, you know, which field is better for using what program or vice versa. And that's exactly why I switched to Maya. So for those of you who were wondering why I switched to Maya, you know, what is the benefits of doing this over Cinema 4D? That's the main reason. And once again, I can't stress this enough. I never left Cinema 4D. I'm still going to use it for a ton of stuff. I still use it weekly. It's just that Maya 
Maya for me personally is where I should probably be sharpening my skills for 3D modeling. Anyways guys, hopefully that clears some things up. Hopefully you guys can now take away from this video, you know, maybe I should be using Maya or maybe I should be using Cinema 4D when it comes to your own personal creations and hopefully you can apply this knowledge to whatever you're making and uh, make some awesome stuff as you guys always do. Anyways guys, once again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like and a comment and a subscription would be awesome. But once again guys, hopefully you learned something. My name's been Tie-Dye and I will catch you in the next video. See ya!